let's understand the important topics, which is virtualization and orchestration. Network function virtualization, it helps to decouple the underlying infrastructure for the different network functions. In case of Open RAN, these are ODU, OCU, or near real-time RIC, and this all is done virtually. Let's understand virtualization in a little bit more detail. Say we have one hardware which is having certain compute storage and network. Any machine or laptop we have seen today is having these three resources available in it. Through virtualization layer on the top of it, which is a hypervisor, you will see it in the next slide in more detail, it is actually fetching some of the resources from the underlying hardware and making some virtual machines on the top of that. So one underlying hardware, we can get some virtual ODU, maybe virtual OCU and near real-time RIC, depending upon the need as and when it is required. So that is the beauty of virtualization. We want to need or incorporate certain resources related to OCU in the network. Okay, no problem, we have underlying hardware, we'll get compute storage and network, we'll put a virtualization layer on the top of, top of that and we'll get the software instance for any function we want, either it is a CU, DU, or REC. And there are different managers, like which is managing the underlying infrastructure, which is known as NFVM, Network Function Virtualization Manager. And we have the manager for VNF instances also, as in when we have to stop or we have to start it. So everything is then further these managers for both infrastructure and software instances that is being managed by the orchestration on the top of it. So orchestration is like uh, you can see it as an orchestrator which is managing all the different functions as well as the resources in the underlying infrastructure. So if you want to initiate some kind of service, say for example in a in infrastructure, telecom infrastructure, we would like to incorporate a new service of 5G or we want to incorporate Open RAN in that case. So that will be done by orchestration. It can also scale up and uh, scale down the network services and when it is required, it will also update the services depending upon the requirement. It can also scale down the service and it, it can also terminate the service so that as and when it is not required, we just not use it and leverage the underlying infrastructure for something else, which is actually required. So it plays a vital role in overall making the network more efficient. We'll talk about the how this flow of information goes from one node to another node in the next slide in more details.